and now you're ready to replace your front disc brakes. All right, so the bottom line is you've gotten this far. You're too cheap to bring it to me to have your brakes checked properly, so you decided to do it yourself. So that's fine. So the first thing you got to do is remove your caliper. This is a common system here. They have two bolts back here bolting the caliper to the spindle. First thing you need to do is take these two bolts loose. What you do is you take these and just screw them out, all the way out. One thing to remember, on this, on this particular vehicle here, the bolts are the same size, but some vehicles have different belts. So make sure that you pay attention to that when you're tearing it apart. You'll have the, top, the long bolt in the small hole and the short bolt in the long hole. A lot of times you just take a screwdriver, stick it up in here and pop it and it'll break it loose. All this is just surface rust and stuff holding the caliper on. First thing you need to do is remove the inner pad. Just take it like this and pop it back out of the piston. This is your outer pad. Most pads have clips on them like this. Not all, but most of them. You can either push on them like this to get them to release, or you can take your pliers or something to that effect. Take your pliers, just grab it, and just bend these tabs back out of the way, and the outer pad will come out just like that. Now all you have is your caliper. You got your piston for your caliper. These are slide pins. This caliper floats back and forth, so these pins have to slide freely just like they are right there so that your brakes don't freeze up on you. You're getting ready to put a pad back on here. It's twice as thick as this. So you got to push that piston back into the caliper so that you have room for the pad when you slide it over the rotor. You can just take the C-clamp, put it back on the meaty part of the caliper back there, and you can just push that back in. Just turn it and turn it. That piston should slide right back in. What we do is take our inner pad and we'll clip it, snap it back in there. We'll take our outer pad, put it in here. Now we have our newly resurfaced rotor. We're ready to reinstall our rotor, put our caliper back on, and move to the other side. You take it, slide your rotor back on like that. Take your caliper like this, and all you're doing is sliding it back over. The pads go over the rotor. Grab both your bolts, just slide them in there. You need to try to finger start these, okay? Don't be using air or impact guns or any fancy tool. Just get them in there with your fingers, get them started good, a good three or four threads. Now all I gotta do is tighten them up. I just sit there and you ain't got to beat and flail and, and crank on it. You just got to get nice and tight. Once it's nice and tight, now we need to just double check ourselves. We've got our bolts tight. We know we've tightened both of them. We take our caliper. It's got a little bit of slop back and forth, left and right. That's letting us know that those sliders inside are lubed up good. The caliper is going to float freely, which is what it's supposed to do. Our rotor's on tight. Don't worry about this stuff. When you tighten your, your tire up, that'll take care of all this play here. This side's done. We're ready to move to the next side.